Hello there, this is David Moderman, Certified Fitness Nutrition Coach and Certified Personal Trainer. I was talking with a client today and we were talking about nutrition. We were talking about um, how I also recommend you know, your four to five or even six um, smaller, more frequent meals per day, right? With a lean protein, a starch carbon, a fibrous carbon, sometimes a good fat. Getting those consistently every day. Um, and then having maybe one day a week where we don't follow the plan so closely. Some people call it a cheat day. Some people call it a reward day. Whatever it may be, um, I usually encourage like a day you do that, you actually plan on doing that. Because if you plan on doing it, you're not going to feel so guilty when you do it. And if you are depriving yourself of foods that you're craving during the week, you're not going to actually have that problem. Um, hurting yourself emotionally, thinking like, oh, I, I totally blew the diet. I do a nutrition plan um, because I ate something I wasn't supposed to. But if you're planning on doing it, I'll see it's going to be more of a psychological thing. Like, hey, I'm doing this because I know it's going to keep me on the plan consistently for my life and not for a short period of time where I'm going to actually abandon it, right? So that's what we don't want to do. Um, so the question came up was, what can I have a meal, maybe a, a cheat meal every day instead of every every week or every, you know, having that day per week? Um, and I always say usually no because if you have a cheat meal every single day, right, say you had ice cream every single night, that's going to be something that's going to never – keep you on a structured plan, even though it might be construct structured in some people's mind, I'm having it every day, I'm planning on doing it, but it's not going to actually be effective for blood sugar control. Um, so physically, it's not going to be uh, successful for you, because if you're spiking blood sugar at night, right before you go to bed and have an ice cream, that's going to really throw you off the plan. Um, and you're going to want ice cream more consistently as well. You're going to want it the next day, the next day, and you're going to turn that ice cream emotionally as well at night. And you might even eat more than you you plan on eating, right? But if you have a set structured day every day, same it's the same day every single week, where you have some foods that are not on the plan, if it's pizza, or it's ice cream, or it's cake, or whatever it may be, chocolate, right? Cheesecake, whatever it may be. If we have that every day, that's going to be a problem, I think, for most people. But if you have a set day per week where you have those foods, that's going to be something you can actually plan on and not feel bad about in my opinion. So having a structured plan six days a week and one day you don't eat so healthy, compare to how you feel those days where you don't eat so healthy, right? If you have six days a week where you eat extremely healthy or you make an effort to really eat healthy, compare how you feel on those days where you really make the effort to the one day you don't have those healthy foods. It will be a night and day feeling, I can guarantee you. Your energy will be different, your blood sugar will be different, you'll probably sleep different, your stomach will feel different, you'll probably have more energy, on the days you do work out and eat the right things, and then one day you don't do those things. So to me, comparing that night and day, one day you don't eat healthy compared to the six days you do, that's going to be a better way to stick with a plan long term. Um, again, if this is a lifestyle change, we're doing this for the rest of our lives. So I don't see any, any benefit of having a bad meal every day, how that's going to benefit anybody in the long term solution to their, their goals of losing fat or building muscle, whatever it may be. So I recommend having six days a week, Five to six days a week, ideally, eating healthy foods, exercising, and then one day a week, maybe not so much. We're eating those healthy foods. We're making it more, those foods we've been craving throughout the week, right? So six out, six days out of seven days a week is actually about 85%. And that's all I can ask of anybody that I work with to be following a structured plan. We're, no one's, we're not looking for, for uh, perfection. We're looking for progression, right? So making the effort to be healthy as much as we can. But it's okay to have that planned day, especially if it helps us stay on the plan. This is David Moderman, fitness, fishing coach, and personal trainer.